inside team she's guys it's hidden here welcome to a new episode um i am sitting in front of wells fargo we're starting off the vlog a little later in the day i'm doing um some bank stuff and then we're gonna go to the post office and then we're gonna head over to veterans thrift it should be a really exciting fun day today's also my parents wedding anniversary so that's really fun uh and yeah but that's the update for right now. I'll see you guys again in a second. But first of all, if you guys are thrifting through those vlogs, wonderful videos, and all that fun stuff, do not forget to subscribe. Hit the little bell button so you're notified when new videos go up. I'm on Instagram. It's Hadrian. Just like it's spelled here, and check out the shop. It's Hadrian.com to see whatever sales from my thrifting adventures. And also, keep a lookout for the live sales because I am having so much fun with you guys doing those live sales, and they are a blast. But yeah, I'll see you guys again in a second. All right, you guys, we just got to the Veterans Thrift. We finished all of our other things that we had to do today. Let's go over here. Oh, actually, I think after this, I might pick up a cake for my mom and dad. So we'll see for their anniversary. Okay, let's go inside. I'm super excited to see what we can find today. You guys, I think I just found a Valentino bag. Valentino Garavani. Let's check. Feels to be on really good. The zippers, interesting. Interior, that does tend to happen with time, but it looks legit so far. Found a Cambridge satchel bag, that's super cute. What is that now? I'm excited, you guys. I already found like two pretty good bags. And there was a lot of people in here when I got it, and I was like, oh man. But it just goes to show, it doesn't matter when you come in, you can still find good stuff. And I'm like at the wrong time, because it's like late, there's a ton of people here. But still found some cool stuff, so. It's possible, you guys. But with that being said, let me know if you guys have found anything cool recently at the thrift. Comment down below. I'd love to know what you guys are finding. This is an interesting looking bag. Oh, it's a hobo, how cute. Still has original tags, $30. I love this style, it's so cool. This is a maybe, even though it's a little pricey for, but it's brand new with tags, so it's a maybe. Oh, uh, this is that Marc Jacobs that's been here. 60 bucks. Waiting for that mark to go on sale before I even consider it. Like trying to repair that bag. What is this? Oh, I think this is that fake coach. Yeah, it is. Is that a Steve Madden? little blue bag apartment 9 little fossil this is a little fossil $10 this is actually kind of cute we'll consider this all right this is a bucky bag oh it's $7 okay not the worst. It's like a cute little shoulder bag. I think we might get this. Hold on to it while we look around. Oh, there's a coach. Or a TNEO or something. Uh, let's see. Oh, TNEO. Yep. They sometimes, like TNEO or I don't, I don't, you guys, I don't know how to pronounce things. Sometimes they copy the lining of coach a little bit, so. You got a little bamboozled into thinking that it's a coach for a second. Doctor bag. BB. That's that bag that kind of looks like a mulberry. I think this is a B. Mikowski. No, it's a Banana Republic. Banana Republic, Kipling. What is this? Hype. 
Um, I don't know how to pronounce that, so I'm not gonna try. What is this? The shape is kind of interesting, but it's squished looking. No brand that I can see. There's this bag that is like quilted. What is this? Steve Madden. This little box bag is so cute. Princess Cruises. Eddie Bauer, Connection, Jessica Simpson. You guys, I found this amazing, like, I think it's ostrich feather jacket. It's 20 bucks. It's, like, spectacular. You guys, I also found this red Valentino shirt top. It's cute, but it's, like, 60 bucks. Oh, you guys, they're, like, they have some cute stuff. I love this. If you wore this, like, it would be like a high fashion, like Oscar the Grouch. Like if you wanted to have like a couture Halloween, like that would be fabulous. This is interesting too. What is this? Oh, I think this is the Leandro, but it's like broken. You see it's like snapped right there at the waist. It's gorgeous stuff. It's like a ballerina. Alright you guys, I'm looking through the backpacks and the luggage. But I am not really seeing anything too exciting. Dream Chaser. It's kind of hot in here though. But it's probably because it's like 90 something degrees outside right now. Okay. I don't think I saw anything. The only thing I'm seeing is like this is kind of cool to use it as like an insert for a bag or something. But I don't think it's an insert for a bag because it's pretty heavy. But, that's what I would use it for. The scary haunted doll is still here. Like, no one wants her. You know why? She's haunted. People can feel it. <laughs> but like, she's honestly like kind of cute, but like, no. Precious moments. Any cool glasses? Oh, so over here, there's this amazing Liadro piece, but it like cracked in half. Hey guys, Hayden here. I just wanted to hop on really quick and let you guys know we're having a sale in the Depop shop right now. We're celebrating this weekend for my parents' wedding anniversary as well as my dad's birthday. And I wanted to celebrate also with you guys in the Depop shop. So 25% off everything in the shop. That is until June 13, 2021. So go check it out. 25% off everything. Most items will already be discounted. If you see something that hasn't been discounted, send me a DM and I will discount that item for you. All the rules and regulations are going to be down below in the description box as well as the link to the shop. So go check it out uh, and have a great weekend. Bye guys! Do you guys see it? There's like a hole. So, wait, I think I showed you guys that already. <sighs> a travesty, because I would have gotten those for sure. I think those are Dolce and Gabbana sneakers right there. Yeah, they're DNG. You can see it in the reflection on the other side of that shoe. I'm trying to see if there's any cool. These are um, the cases where they keep like the more expensive items. I'm like on the hunt for anything Tiffany's and I have been yearning to find some sort of David Yerman. The only David Yerman I've ever found is or are the pair of earrings that I found once inside a bag so I didn't even like really find it at the store. Do you guys see that bracelet that looks like leaves? It's so pretty. There's a big Tory Burch luggage tag in there too for 15 bucks. Hey guys, let's go look through the shoes and see what we can find. Oh, look at these Tory Burches. Whoa, these are fun. $24.92. They're like built in angle bracelet. 
her, yeah, 2492 size 7. These are kind of cute. They're in pretty good shape, I think, too. Are they? Yeah, these are kind of cute. Hmm, what do you guys think about these? Let's just hold them in our cart for now. Decide later. They also still have these Manolo Bonics I showed you guys before. Right there, that's the canvas. And they still have these Alayas right there. Um, they have some Ferragamas, but they're like old styles that are not like the funnest of the fun styles. What is this? Muggle Cores right there. These are some Doc Martens in like a suede, but they're 75. Oh, these Ferragamas are so cute, but they're tiny. Those are little ones. Uh, we have some Michael Kors right here. What are these? Sass. Okay, uh, Ferragamos. These are kind of nice, but they're 35. I think these might be like J. Crew. $20. More J. Crew, $14. DV. Oh, look at these Jimmy Choo's. Ooh, red Jimmy Choo's that heals a little damage. Size 36. All of, like the fancy cool shoes that get donated to the store are always so tiny. They're always like a size 6 or size 5. Sometimes size 7. Dr. Scholl's. Those are the Alice and Olivia heels I showed you guys last time. That has like this printed uh, snake print pattern. What are these? Banana Republic. Those are some sequin shoes. These are Adam Tucker. Those are kind of cool. You got some Michael Kors ballet. Flats right there. These Gianni Versace's were here last time too. They had like a cool toe, but all of the jewels are like literally coming out as we speak. And oh, these are nice and yellow. What are these? B. Something Shang, I do not know. Clark. Aldo. Well, look at these sequin shoes right here. These are Kate Spade. Whoa, 11, size 11 sequin Kate Spade shoes. Wow, amazing. Wait a minute, I think I just hit like, okay, wait, these are Reese. Okay, but are these all Louboutins? Oh my gosh, these are all Louboutins. This is only 25 bucks. But oh wait, are these real? No, these are not real, right? These are fake. Are these fake? Ugh, we're gonna have to do some research, guys. Cause okay, there's these red ones, okay, red. So this is number one. Number two, in yellow. Oh my gosh, I do not know, are these real? Okay, fifty dollars for these, and then another pair. These are thirty-four ninety-three. Okay, but these are fake, right? Because these are don't even say Louis Vuitton on the bottom unless these are like resold or something. Have they? Oh, these actually might have been resold or like redone. These might have been redone. Are they redone? Because it's like, maybe. These might have been redone. Let's see if there's anything else crazy over here. Mm. Oh, these are pretty. What are these? Kurt Geiger? Calvin Klein. Oh, look at these rainbow Tory bird sandals. These are kind of cute. They look like um, stuff got spilled on them, but these are $25. So 
size, I do not know. Maybe. Let's see what else we have. Why do they have such cool shoes today? Whoa, look at these. What are these? I don't know what these are either. Ah! Oh my gosh, I caught it. These are a brand I'm not familiar with. Uh, I do not know, but they're kind of cool looking. We got some of these. Michael Kors. These are kind of interesting. International Concepts, INC. We got, uh, there's some Stuart Weissens over there. Michael Kors. Jeffrey Campbell. Simply Vera. Okay, but I want to see the boots right here. What are these? Nike Air. These might be like Cole Huns. Let's put these over here. Are these. Whoop! What are these? Uh, Muck Sports. Never heard of that before. These are shoes, they're just like gonna fly away. Cassidy. I just found some fake Alexander McQueen's. They're Alexander Squeen's. Interesting. They're 40 bucks. Adidas. Converse. Alright you guys, I was inspecting the Valentino bag. The little zipper is broken right there, so I don't know, it's kind of expensive. Maybe I'll just wait for it to go on sale. Because it is like $16. I found the cutest little coach like coin thing, but it's like damage on the corners. Alright, I got a little bag of stuff and I have an even littler bag of stuff in my bag right now. But good stuff comes in small packages. Can't wait to show you guys what I got. Let's go home. Can we take a second to appreciate the beauty of these purple trees? They're so pretty. Okay, got to Albertsons. Gonna pick up a cake. They didn't have any at 85 Degree Bakery, so... Well, they didn't have the one that we liked, so I'm gonna get an ice cream cake here. Um, Dad's birthday is on Sunday anyway, so we're gonna even be eating more cake. Uh, but I don't know if Mom's gonna make him a cake or... I don't know, we'll see. But, for the anniversary, I'm gonna go buy them an ice cream cake. It's perfect, it's like 90 degrees. Ooh, which ice cream should I get? Variety? Chocolate fudge? Cookies and cream? The choices. I know it's covered, but um, I had them put happy anniversary on it. <laughs> it's so cute. Okay, I'm gonna go now. You okay, you guys, just got home. Did you see what mom has? What is that? Hold on, so this is... <laughs> I had a, mom and dad's anniversary dinner meal. What is this, mom? It's like braised it's, beef uh, with noodles. Slow cooked beef with sticky sauce. Oh, and then mom also made these. Ooh, <laughs> what is this? I don't My know, but it's like a done. flower <laughs> out of cucumbers or something. Really pretty. <laughs> I'm gonna record Guya eat this first bite. I was like, can you put happy birthday or happy anniversary on the cake? And then. He was like, um, I don't know how good it's gonna look because it has like Oreos and it like looks so funny. I'll show you guys later. Oh. Uh, I'll show you that because John's filming. Oh. Wait, John. Uh, John, Let's you're open the anniversary. What's up, Open up the. John's, <laughs> the in charge, John's in charge of cinematography. Cinematography. Happy. Ha happy. Happy. Boy. And anniversary. anniversary. <laughs> that's like a. Oh wait, the P is missing. That's like a Harry Potter cake. It just says like, <laughs> it says hoopy. Oh, hoopy. look, the other part's right there. Oh, it's stuck. It was supposed to say happy, but it says hoopy. It should just be alabaster anniversary because it's the alabaster anniversary. <laughs> it says hoopy. 
Because the, the, the pee got stuck, the bottom of the pee got stuck with those things. <laughs> All right, guys, we are now in my room, and we had an awesome um, little celebration for mom and dad. I got them the cake. Mom made this delicious food. Like, I know, like, it's her anniversary. She shouldn't have been cooking, but she, like, wanted to make this dish really badly, and it was delicious. You guys know how, mo how much mom loves to cook, so. Um, but it was so good. If you guys want the recipe, I think she's going to have it on her Instagram, so you can follow her down below in the description box. And, okay, so first of all, can we just talk about the cake really quick? Because the cake... <laughs> <laughs> it said happy, it was supposed to be happy anniversary, and it just said happy anniversary. <laughs> it was like missing a couple letters, but it's totally fine. The guy was so funny when he was uh, making the cake, and um, he was like, it, it was hilarious because he was like really concerned about spelling anniversary correctly, and he like Googled how to spell it, and I think it threw him off because he was gonna write it in cursive, and he practiced writing it on a piece of parchment paper, and then he, uh, when I got the cake, I showed it to him. It was um, an Oreo cake, and there was like that Oreo crumble on top, and he was like, "Ooh, maybe it's better to write in printing." in like all caps or something and I was like yeah that's totally perfect whatever um so he did that and I think it just like threw him off and he just like misspelled the word and I was just like it's totally fine it's awesome it's great so it doesn't matter because the cake was delicious we literally finished that whole thing each one of the kids had two well actually Zach had three pieces of cake um Kate and Eliza had two John had two pieces I think dad had two pieces so it was it was delicious and I'm, I'm really happy that everyone liked it so uh it was a good day and then dad's birthday we're gonna be celebrating again on sunday so we just have lots of celebrations which is super duper fun uh let me show you guys what i got today though at the thrift so um today we just ran a couple errands we had to go to the post office uh then after that i went to this uh it's another kind of like buy sell trade store by my house there's lineage trading and there's this other one called um Runway Fashion Exchange. If you guys ever go there, just let me know. Tell them Hadrian sent you. But I haven't been there in a while. And I was like, you know what? I'm going to go see if I can find anything cool. And I did manage. And I didn't bring the camera because, like, I, I've i only been there a couple times. Not really, like, comfortable with filming. Uh, but I found this awesome Marc Jacobs backpack. And it's in this amazing gray leather. It's in fantastic condition. It also still comes with the little care cards and everything which is awesome so very excited about that the backpack again like i said is in like new condition there's like no wear anywhere on it at all and this is like an all leather backpack and the straps are really nice they're like that nice like seat belt type of fabric or whatever so it's really nice it feels super comfy and this is just a gray backpack and i got it for 36 dollars and 33 cents. So I was like, whoa, what a deal. So I was very happy. I was very excited about this backpack. So this was a very good little trip to that store. Then we went to Veterans Thrift where, okay, there were, it was like raining Louboutins. There were so many. I don't know if they were real. I feel like they, like they were made really well, but then the writing on the bottom of like the two clear ones, like the red and yellow ones, it threw me off because like normally it's just like embossed and this one had like kind of like this white kind of like I don't know so threw me off uh didn't get them <laughs> and then the other one was like missing it entirely like the Louboutin writing underneath that one I thought might have been real but I feel like the whole thing was like resold or something but like they didn't do a good job so I was like I don't know so I didn't get that one either but it was still pretty crazy um they had lots of really great shoes they had some pretty good bags um they had <sighs> well all the bags I showed you guys but I only ended up getting a couple of them and I did end up getting some Tiffany's jewelry I don't know if I mentioned it but I saw it inside the case and okay anyway let me just show you guys the bags that I got first um first of all I got a dust bag I got like this ginormous um dust bag and it's just fantastic. So I got this. It was uh, 99 cents. So I picked it up. I've been picking up like lots of random dust bags. So I could just like include them if anyone buys any bags. So if you get like a random dust bag, it's because I've just been buying random ones and just including them. And then I did also end up getting this really cute Cambridge 
satchel and it's embossed right here with a j and an a but like it's so cute and it just reminds me of jonathan anderson like one of my favorite designers he's a designer for loewe one of loewe is one of my favorite brands and i just thought this bag was so cute and it's in such fantastic condition like honestly this bag is in such great shape so it says the Cambridge uh, Satchel Company on the back, handmade in Great Britain. The leather is luxurious, like honestly. And then the inside is fantastic. There's also a bubblegum wrapper in the inside. So that's great. I didn't even really notice that. Um, but yeah, so the interior is in fantastic condition. Honestly, it's, it's, it's in beautiful shape. Uh, just has the little initials, but like, doesn't bother me. <laughs> <laughs> I like the initials. I think they're cool. Jonathan Anderson. Then I picked up this backpack and okay this one is super duper rare. This is a super rare backpack find which I'm pretty excited about. Uh, and it is this coach vintage vintage coach backpack this is in black leather it is amazing you guys there's actually a louis vuitton backpack very similar to this that i had once upon a time like a long time ago and i forget the name of it and i forget the name of this one i think it might be like the bixby or something but this backpack is amazing here is like the interior this is made in usa here's the creed right there if you wanted to see it there you go. So there's one interior pocket and that's about it. And it has, it's one of those like one strap backpacks. Like this is so 90s, like it's amazing. And this is actually like the large size. This is a big size, like the, like a, the, like, in terms of what the other bags are in this, there's like um a small one, there's another size. I think this is like the largest, largest size that this style comes in, so really excited it was a little bit expensive because this bag i think was how much was it like 75 dollars right yeah this one was 75 dollars and how much was the the cambridge was 15 yeah i showed you guys the price of this inside the store so this one was 75 dollars it was a lot more expensive than i would normally pay for a vintage coach but this one is very rare and these are they sell for a lot like i've i saw them sell for like around 200 250 for especially for this size so i was really excited to find it i know there's a lot of collectors out there i know a lot of you guys collect uh vintage coach and this one is a super rare find so i'm really really excited about it oh and then i have hold on i have it inside my bag here so i did end up getting some jewelry which i'm pretty excited about i still need to clean them but they're in this little bag and this was from like the jewelry counter in the back. I don't know if they call it the jewelry counter of like the collectibles area, but they, I was like looking at the jewelry and I was like, wait a minute, some of these pieces look a little familiar. So I decided to check them out. And lo and behold, and I've been like hoping to find some sort of Tiffany's jewelry for such a long time. Cause I found a couple pieces there before. Like a lot of my Tiffany jewelry that I have found uh, is actually from that thrift store and so I was really excited to find these pieces um the first one is this little bracelet like a little charm bracelet and it's Tiffany's it says Tiffany and co on the round ring uh part and it says as like the sterling 95 and then it says 1937 on there on that little ring right there so Pretty excited. These just need like a little bit of cleaning and they're gonna be good to go. This one, uh, $24.92. Like, that's a deal. And then the other thing that I found, this one was super cool. Um, this one is a Paloma Picasso little ring with a heart. Is it upside down? No, it's right set up. And there's actually a little diamond inside of there too. So, really cute. I wish this actually fit me. And it doesn't really fit me at all. I don't know why I would want to wear this, but I just, like, wanted it to fit. <laughs> but it, like, honestly, it doesn't. It's, like, one of those, like, midi rings. You know, like, those rings that you wear, like, in between your knuckles or whatever. Like, that's, like, what the ring size is for me. But I know a lot of you guys have been wanting me to find more jewelry. And I have found some. Yay! So, yeah, Tiffany Co. 95 signed Paloma Picasso. So, very exciting. And this heart ring is so, so cute. It's adorable. Like, let me, like, turn it around so you guys can see on, on the finger like that. So look at that. So excited. 
Sorry if my nails are like gross, but yeah. So that is what I found today at the thrift. It was a very successful little trip to the thrift, and I'm really excited to uh, be able to share this with you guys. Hope you guys had fun. Um, if you guys haven't joined one of the lives too, definitely uh, consider doing so, especially if you like the items that I have uh, that I show you guys in these videos because they pop up in the live first before these videos go up and a lot of the time the good stuff is already sold by the time the videos go up so uh if you are interested in anything like consider joining some of the lives i usually do them friday and saturday nights uh starting between 9 and 10 pacific center time and they usually go on to like 11 or even midnight like, i know it's super late but it's super fun like we have like little late night uh shopping sessions very much like qvc and i love chatting with you guys and it's too much super super fun uh i'm gonna try to do them like during the week earlier in the day but i just haven't had the time to do so i've just been like so super busy uh and i'm also thinking about bringing the vlogs back as well so if you guys like the vlogs let me know i kind of took a little hiatus from them um and yeah but i've been getting a couple messages and by a couple i mean like literally like maybe five or six about bringing the vlogs back they weren't like the most popular like they didn't get like the most views most likes or anything but i really have fun making them and i hope you guys enjoy like getting a little look into our lives too plus i really like it because like my family in the philippines can watch because they don't really get to see especially the kids they've never actually seen the kids and then years later like it's super fun to look back on these videos for our family at least and we can see like how the kids have grown and all that stuff like oh my gosh i was watching a video the other day of when my sister and her family they used to live in arizona and eliza was so tiny and it's so so cute he's a little baby he couldn't even walk yet so uh trip down memory lane for sure but yeah that's the end of the video hope you guys had fun i'm done talking um don't forget to tune in tomorrow but early at 7 a.m for a new video i love you guys so much and i'll see you guys all in the next video all right bye